Notion forms just drop and I'm all here for it. My name is Annie and I'm a marketing manager for multiple brands. And let's just say without Notion, I would go pretty insane. I've been tracking, managing and monitoring hundreds of tasks for multiple brands. And one thing I missed so much was a great onboarding form. So previously, I used to use Google Forms or even paid forms like Typeform to onboard clients or new employees and team members. But this feature just saved everything. Now that Notion had been built-in automations and this form feature can literally speed up so many nuanced tasks for you. So in this video, I will show you how to use Notion forms to onboard new employees, new leads, or even new podcasts. If you are running a podcast like myself, this tutorial will not have any complex things. Anyone can execute it as long as you're on a paid plus plan. And let's get into the tutorial. So here is a final outcome, what you're looking for. This is how a form will look like at the back end. Eventually, when you're going to share this form to say a new client, it will look exactly like this. Eventually, it will look like a very clean form, which in my opinion, looks way better than Google form. You can customize it as well. But for me, just the whole professional look, is just everything. So basically, the person will fill out their information. And one cool trick that I can let you guys know already is that once you fill out a form, then you will be able to send yourself an email summary. And this is how the email summary will look like. Again, it will automatically onboard you to Notion, which is a really cool marketing hack. It will allow you to send you an email of your answers. So how do we get to this point, right? This is a brand new overview of my coming template, everyone. For now, I'm going to create a new page and I'm going to show an example form. So what you're going to do, you need to use the dash and you need to type in form. Now, the whole point here is that you can customize everything and it will create a database right after you, uh, somebody finishes and fills out the form. And later on, I'm going to show you guys how to use this automation button. I'm going to give it a new title. So join the aspiring CMO, for example. Let's imagine that the aspiring CMO is basically like a service-based company. I'm looking for maybe new clients. So this is a description part. So normally when you're running an agency, you want to collect leads and this is perfect form to do that. And you can just fill out your information. Let's say I'm looking for a name. As you see, when you click to the three dots, you can make it required. You can add a description. And let's say this is an email like then I would need to change the question type into a text because people have to answer it in a text. Obviously, a name is always required. By clicking the plus button, you can add a new question. Let's say you want people to upload their brand guideline if you have any, but it could be just not required. So here you can actually write a description. If you do not have one, please leave this empty. People can also uh, do a multiple choice. So what services are they interested in? So and I'm going to put into multiple choice. And there are options to create, let's say if you're interested in somebody's date of birth, I can imagine if you are, for example, when is the earliest time start the campaign? the person can actually click a date. You can um, go on with these information, your website. And one cool question that you can ask is like, what's your budget? And you can give it a range, for example. And here's what we can actually automate later. So let's say I'm done with my form and now I'm ready to share this. So you click on share and you make sure that you click on anyone on the web with the link can access this because you want to send it out to your leads. And now you can see the preview. One cool thing you can add is obviously the cover page and the emoji to make it more personalized, more fun, just like marketing agency, I guess. So here's you can customize the emojis. If you click on this button, you can add a specific icons and you can upload your company logo if you like. So I think I'm going to like this lightning emoji and you can change a cover to your company background. Notion just added some new pictures as well. So now I'm going to pretend to just fill it out. Let's just say And see, this is the drop down button for dates, so it's pretty convenient. 
and you can submit this. I'm going to actually feed the data. You can obviously send a copy, which I has shown for. So now what's going to happen is that I'm going to go back to my responses and now it popped up in the back end. So this is extremely useful because you can connect databases to each other inside Notion, which is super useful. I'm going to show you guys how to do a simple automation behind the Notion form. For example, each time there is a new entry, you will get a Slack notification and a private DM that, hey, there's a new lead coming through. So how are we going to do that? Let's click on the lightning button, which is going to open up your automation window. I'm going to name this automation as private DM to any new client. So the trigger here is if there's any property or page added, I think page added is better because that means the whole thing is filled out. And then the action, the trigger is new pages added to the database. Now what it has to do is actually to send a notification to, and I'm going to tag of course myself. So any Huang, and you can say a customized message, check we have a new client. So create and you can click on create or you can add further actions, which is send a notification to. And here it will ask you to connect with your Slack channel. I had gone through the whole Slack automation, so let's start with again. So in order to start your first automation on Notion, let's say I want to get notified each time I have a new client added to the database. That's going to be, first of all, click on the lightning button. You will have to define the name of this automation. So this is gonna send me a DM or notification when and a new client is added and the trigger is of the new pages added to this database and the action is going to be send notify the channel now i just have to give it to the aspiring cmo channel because obviously that's the brand i want to notify and also it can send notion notifications to a specific person and this in this case is going to be myself or your podcast manager, whoever, right? And you can create a custom message saying, we have a new client. And now you're just going to create. So this is how you create a new automation. So let's see how it's going to work out. Once, let's say you have sent out this form, how is this going to notify you? I'm back to my Notion form that I just created. I'm just going to fill it out again. Test, test, pick a date test. So now I have submitted a new entry and let's see how it's going to notify me. Now I'm clicking here and inside my inbox, you have seen that the lightning is appearing saying DM my new client is added. Here's a test. We have a new client. So it immediately took me to this page. Once you set up a Slack notification into a specific channel, this is exactly how the notification will look like. As you see, Notion was added to this aspiring CMO channel and it had filled out all the information that the test candidate or client had done. So simply you can notify any team member if there is a new form or person added to your database. And the most convenient thing about this notification is that you can click on open in Notion. It will take you to the same test page. 100% saved a lot of headache because previously I used to do this with Zapier. And let's just say Zapier sometimes can break, you know, it's just not as convenient as this method for sure. So this is how you can set up a simple notification for you when somebody else fills out the form. This can be a new employee candidate, a new client, a new podcast guest. And this is exactly the flow and that's how you get automated notifications. Lastly, in this automation, I'm going to show you how you can add new pages to an existing database. So for example, your operation team is handling all the client information and now your sales team is onboarding new client. So there is a connection. How do you transfer those new form answers that I just showed you into an existing database onto Notion without using any money? any coding. This is, by the way, part of my marketing workflow management template, which you can get in the link description below. Sign up for the waitlist. Here is just one feature of it. Imagine this is our existing client onboarding form that I, I have just showed you. How can you put new information to an existing client database? And that can be done on the forms end. So you have to go to the backend of the client onboarding form that we created 
and you click on the lightning automation button again you click on new automation so I'm always keen to give a very descriptive name of my automation otherwise I'm gonna forget it so add new client to the client database because the new trigger is going to be page added and the action now here is going to be at page two select the database and now you have to select your client database I think I named it client database example for this uh, here you go to client database example and the client name here is going to be the trigger page and it's gonna be for example the name of the client right and now you click on create okay just to make things fast I'm going to add a new client say test 2 if you click on the example client database there you go now the test two page had appeared. So thank you so much for watching this far into the video. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up and make sure that you check out my other video, how I set up Notion for my podcast. Ever since uh, 2023, I've been running a podcast pretty much less than part-time because of the efficient workflow that I was able to create on Notion. So make sure you check it out and have fun creating. Bye.